headed back to new Vermont Employee Incentive Program. And we had two amendments voted, drafted yesterday and came to agreement on a third. So David was gonna draft that up for us and then we can vote this one and everybody can go back to enjoying eighth grade graduation or it is a very nice day. I got 10 minutes at lunchtime to go out in the backyard. My poppies and peonies are blooming at the same time. Isn't that, it's beautiful, yeah. They are beautiful, but the, pe the poppies should have bloomed two weeks ago. They are definitely behind this year. Okay, David is with us. Okay, David, as soon as you're ready, we are ready. Uh, good afternoon. Would you like me to and share my screen? We'll get people out on Friday. Next week, it looks coming. like we may have some pretty long sessions. Um, Senator Cummings, David, gonna, ask if you'd like him to share his screen. Did we? She's frozen. The internet in Montpelier has been underwhelming this week. Oh, well, she'll be back. Oh, there she is. She's muted. Hold on, I'll unmute her. For some reason on this site, I come on muted and on other sites, I don't, other meetings. Anyway, um, by three o'clock, we should have the final redacted copy of the broadband report from the consultants. Um, Doug, the, the tech expert is in the hospital. Um, the good news is he'll recover and they thought they might be releasing him as early as today. I don't know what the issue was, but um, he may not be available to talk to us and you're all frozen again. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Are you back? Yep. Um, yep. Okay. Sure. Anyway, um, by three o'clock, I've asked Faith to email the whole committee, both the consultant's report, which goes through all the major suggestions because they've taken everybody's literature that we could find and go through them, do an analysis of what, if they think this is COVID relief doable, um, you know, within the time frames, both allowable expense and the time frames, uh, done a recommendation for for probes really of how much money they might want to expend in this area, and then I've asked um, Faith to include the um, recommendations from the House. Committee on Technology, because they have spent hours on this since this is their one topic. And there's other things in there that we might want to consider as we work through for the next week uh, or the final week, what the recommendations and what we're going to come out with for um, a probes. Um, to put in the final COVID relief bill. So that's, uh, that's where we are, but just be watching 
for that um, email this afternoon. I figure while you're enjoying this lovely weekend, you can uh, read all these wonderful reports along with me and we'll be, be ready. We've got an hour and a half scheduled. It took us an hour this morning just to go through it, but we hadn't seen it. So if you all read it this weekend, I think we can use our time probably to the, the highest advantage if we're ready with questions and thoughts. That's where we are. So, uh, David, you're here. Yes, would you like me to share my screen with the amendment? Uh, yeah, I think that would be probably the easiest way to do this. Okay. Um, I hope that you're seeing it now. We are seeing it. Great. So, okay. uh, for your record, David Hall, Legislative Council, this is S-256, an act relating to creating the new Vermont Employee Incentive Program. And, uh, you know, this bill came into the Finance Committee with uh, a full slate of proposals from uh, Senate Economic Development. This amendment makes a few uh, changes to your bill. Um, first, on the issue of the so-called mini TIFs, um, the way that we've written this is just to just strike in its entirety that subsection B that dealt with uh, sort of the numbers and timing of the pilot program. So uh, in its entirety, that was stricken. There's a new subsection B. So beginning on January 1st, 2021 and ending on December 31st, 2023. So that's all of 21, all of 22, all of 23, a three-year pilot. The uh, Vermont Economic Progress Council is authorized to approve not more than six tax increment financing projects provided that there shall be not more than one project per municipality. So that's your, uh, your three year time frame, your six projects, and the limitation is per municipality. And I believe that, I hope that captures your intent from yesterday. That Sounds like what I agreed to. Senator Sorokin, that. Yep. Okay. Great. All okay. right. So then the second instance, which you have seen, is to strike out sections six through 10. So that was the VEPSI, uh, the veggie pieces, the downtown tax credit itself, and uh, the full appropriations section, which had a number of different appropriations in there. In okay, place did of we the do that or did economic development it came to what well, I, I those are your recommendations that we put in senator sorokin uh i don't have section six through ten in front of me they they were in our bill they're very stale now given the okay. covid thing so i would appreciate it if we just strike them from finance but we can okay. do a separate amendment on the floor if you want no i just didn't we hadn't discussed it um so yes, if you if this is this agreeable by the majority of the committee. <laughs> yes, yes, we, okay. we we did discuss striking them in economic yeah. development, and I just put them in here. So okay, without so, objection. All right. So those components will be are removed, but replaced by section a new section okay. six here, and this is the study of the expansion and its impact on. Uh, the downtown tax credit I did change here on page two the reference to the Vermont Downtown Development Board, which is the uh, in the ACCD administers the downtown's okay. program. And then um, the appropriation being put back in is the $1 million for the business portal. And that's it. Okay, and that's it, the request of economic development, right? That was that that was in our bill. Uh, yeah. That was the only thing that survived in the appropriation, and we're going to have to make our case to across the hall on that. Okay. All right, committee. Any questions at this point? No questions. Then I need a motion to amend. So moved. Oh, we don't have a clerk. 
<clears throat> Madam Chair, uh, Faith emailed me the uh, document that we need for this. Oh. So, uh, okay, for, then you're the clerk. She's, yeah, but but without uh, objection. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'm not if an somebody experienced. Somebody wants to fight him. Just raise your hand. Uh, I'm not an experienced clerk, and I'm gonna just print this form out here. So give me a second. Okay. And Madam Chair, I just arrived. I'm sorry for being late. Uh, You're just in time to have us finish. Is this S-256? Yes. Terrific. And we and, and I, it sounds like Senator Pearson's going to be the clerk. Great. Clerk. And I'm hoping Senator Sorokin or somebody makes the motion for... I will. I so moved. Okay. You move that we amend. And I'm looking with... Uh, David, the draft number? 4.1. 4.1, draft 4.1, dated today or yesterday? Uh, right, 6-11-2020. Okay, draft 4.1. Further discussion? If not, all those unmute. I've got a couple of you muted. Unmute. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed. Okay, I hear no no. So that is six zero one. Now I need a vote to approve as amended. So moved, Madam Chair. Senator Sorokin moves. Further discussion? If not, all could those you, in could I just get the bill number again? S two fifty six. Uh yep, two fifty six. Okay, thank you. Okay. Further discussion? If not, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. That carries 601. And um, thank you, committee. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Read all the nice things you're going to get sent. Well, Madam Chair, I was yes. going to volunteer Senator Brock to report the amendment is as he's reporting the underlying oh. bill. Am I That's right. We do need someone. Bill? Yep, you are. You're reporting the bill. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, David, will you may email Senator Brock a clean copy of what we did and Senator uh, coming. I'll, Faith. I'll, yeah, I'll get the material. Faith got yeah. it, and you just mail it to. Uh, Bloomer and and Faith, I return this document to you. Yes, Chris, I've taken notes here as well, so we'll uh, double check each other. Now that gets okay. emailed to Bloomer as opposed to physically, correct? Yes. Correct. You to drive email down it with the vote, which was six zero one. You're the reporter. That's all I've ever done. It's going to okay. go up to appropriations, so right. um, that should do it. Okay. Again, enjoy your weekend. Rest up. Thank Have, you. Yeah, say congratulations you to all your children who are graduating. That's good.